Welcome, welcome. We have a very, very, hello, beloveds out there. Can you hear me okay? I hope so. We have a very, very famous guest. We have a famous guest today. We do. Who's going to introduce Franny? Are you ready? Hello, beloveds. Can you hear me okay? Let me know out there. All right. We have one, two, three. Introducing Dr. Francis Freud. <laughs> That's right. It is me. He's a fan. Dr. Francis Freud. Yeah, I'm a little bit verschkoofed in a schkopapa, but we have a good time. Hello, beloveds. John Williams, Love Warrior, can you hear me? I have my new lavalier on. It looks like a very small, you saw it last time, a raccoon testicle. Testing, testing. You have to do this with the testicle. You know, you, I can tell you're experts in the testicle. <laughs> you, not so much. Maybe you, okay. Here we go. Can you hear me? John Williams, can you hear me? Can you hear me? Let me know if this is working. Okay, so what we are going to talk about today is a very significant issue. Who here believes there's any connection whatsoever between mood and health? Hmm? Hands up. Yes, everybody get out. <laughs> You're all psychotic. <laughs> There's no connection between the ego and the id and the super ego and the popo. Maybe the popo. Yeah. So it has been okay. I'm going to now introduce Franny. Goodbye. Auf, auf, auf gesehen Neichen. Schicken Sache Torten. Can you hear me? Luba, can you hear me? I can hear you, Dr. Freud. Okay, good. All right. Guten. Guten Lagen, Schmacken, Poopen. Oh, it is me, Franny. Who was that? I don't know. Hello, everybody. Welcome. And so we all know that it has been scientifically proven that there is a connection between our emotions and how we feel in our beloved bodies, right? You know, I mean, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, who created this system, the Energy Enhancement System. If you're listening, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, hello, love warriors and goddesses. You know, she has uh, said many times over that there is a big connection between any physical issue and a stuck emotion that's stuck. So, you know what I mean? Like a lot of times it's by default. We don't even know because it feels, it starts to feel so normal that we're feeling maybe cranky or anxiety and I'm not I'm not saying anxiety to maybe to you no I'm kidding, no but I was stuck I my many of you out there know for decades I performed a show internationally about my journey out of kakapupu into ooh la la my inherited PTSD into you know and I've, I've taught and I performed at the Kravitz Center and all over I've had the you know um to, you know Really, it has been an honor to teach uh, vets and trauma survivors and, you know, just everyday folk about how to navigate out of feeling like we are our emotions. I am this way. No, I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. So it's really what this is about is distracting ourselves from feeling like cockapoo poo because it allows in our wellness. And then supercharged in this environment, right, which where we can raise our millivoltage to above 60, because below 20 is dis-ease, again, scientifically proven. And the only reason that I'm even here and that I'm one of the owners here is because my husband and I, 11 months ago, had an experience, an experience. We were hungry. We had a sandwich and then we had an experience. And then together we had a hungry, no. But so, because I was feeling yucky, yucky doodle, and this is all on my website and in our about section. And uh, right before I was perched to go to the emergency, and then we heard about this, we saw a video, flew to Verona, New Jersey. Uh, for me, after two hours in a system, also 24 units, I was 100%. And my hubby, who had chronic tinnitus and didn't even go for himself, his tinnitus was gone. It did come back because we're in like a big, you know, toxic soup, whatever, whatever. But after our contractors started building here and we slept here, his uh, his tinnitus left the building. Now I'm addicted to the white noise and the water sound that he used to have to sleep to to be able to sleep. And I love it. And I'm the one who wants it on all night, but he doesn't need it. And so that's why we opened. So the combination of, you know, let me just ask you this. Have you ever you know, run into somebody and said, how are you doing? And they went, oh, I'm doing just fabulous, just great. And you haven't believed them? Right. So this isn't about being full of artifice or 
you know, phony pretending. I feel just great. Yeah, now I'm going to feel like, no, because we're pushing it down and that's toxic, right? So I'm not telling many of you anything you don't know technically or in your body, but we forget. We just, you know, living, surviving, taking care of our families, yada, yada, yada. So what really helps is to think about one thing, one thing in your lives that's easy to feel joyous about. Maybe looking into the big brown eyes of your doggy or petting your cat or a grandchild, eating chocolate cake. I'm pointing at Leslie. What is it? Just close your eyes for a minute and indulge yourselves. Think of one thing that's easy to feel good about, sitting at the edge of the ocean, swimming, scuba diving, yours. It's, this is private. Now, see if you can add your senses. What does it smell like? If it's the ocean, can you smell the seaweed? If it's a cake, can you smell the yummy chocolate? If it's your child, can you, can you just, you know, <laughs> can you just hear them giggling? If it is a doggy or a cat, what does it feel like to pet? What is there? Okay, now open your eyes and share with us, share with us. The one thing I'm still being possessed by, Dr. Boyd, what is the one thing that you were thinking of that is easy to think about? So if you're feeling cock-a-poo-poo, Paquita, what can you think of that might bring you a little bit of joy? Dog. Dog. A doggy? Mm -hmm. A doggy. Okay, doggy. Great. The sand at the beach. Day at the beach? Yeah. The sand at the beach. The sand at the beach. Sand at the beach. Sand at the beach. You know what? I'm going to bring this in a little closer. So... What we're doing here, you folks can hear because I have my raccoon testicle on. So Paquita said that the one thing that can bring her instant joy my, is... My puppy. Speaking to the boob. <laughs> my, my puppy. <laughs> I think I terrorized her. Okay, and now we are going to do the same thing over here with Sarah. So one easy peasy thing, folks. That no matter how, if you're in traffic jam, if you're, you know, waiting for the dentist like I was the other day, whatever your deal is. So one thing that beautiful Sarah over here is going to share with us an easy thing that she can think about that's almost like a hack, almost like a cheat that you could just think about. My feet in the sand. Her feet in the sand, all right? <laughs> all right, great. And Leslie, honey, what is that one thing? One thing that brings you joy. Well, I would say, where's your boob? <laughs> <laughs> what she's saying is it makes her happy to speak into my boob. Yes, All right. Yes, yes. I don't want to run over your feet. All right. Leslie. <laughs> wow, you have so much. You look like you got sun. You look gorgeous. Go ahead. I feel very high already. <laughs> She's, uh, you know, all right, go. I, you know, I, I, I did think the beach too, but I was like, oh, that one's already been fed, so. <laughs> Two people like the beach. It's okay. There's enough grains of sand, I think, to go around. And when you brought up the cake, I made a cake on Friday. It wasn't very good. I, it wasn't really Hello, good. welcome to the apology show. <laughs> it wasn't very really good chocolate cake. It wasn't good. But what I was thinking was how good it feels to be in my body. Yes. And yesterday I did a little self-massage on oh. my biomat and mm. was doing some self-care. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Long overdue. Gorgeous. And that felt so good. So to be in our blessed bodies, right? Not take them 53 trillion fakakta cells. That's fakakta for you, those of you who heard it as challenge. You know what it means, my friends. But that's it, right? Not taking it's such a blessing. Such a blessing. All right, thank you. That's quite enough about out of you, young lady. All right, and over here we have Mr. Mike Williams. Yes. <laughs> what is one thing? <laughs> Talk in the boob, sir. Talk in the boob. Let's be boot. professional. <laughs> yes. What is it that brings you joy that's easy for you to think about? You're in a traffic jam, you know, whatever. Yeah, you know. It's my sweet puppy, Lula Merle. Lula Merle, puppy Lula Merle. What are, can I know a little bit about this Lula Merle? What does she, I'm assuming, look like? She looks like a stuffed animal that's been played with too much. <laughs> Sounds adorable. Lula Merle, apparently from Paquitas, it looks like Paquitas Mouse says, Lula Merle, doggy, looks like a stuffed animal that's been played with too much. <laughs> She's a sweetie. She got us through COVID. Aww. We got her, Paquita and I came down with COVID and we got oh. her the next day. Oh, what a beautiful, wonderful, comforting comfort and of she thinks love and we puppiness. We were with her 24 hours a day mm. for six weeks. 
and she thinks we are a unit. She doesn't. Oh think no! People. Is she in your pocket? <laughs> she sits down. Oh, oh, how cute! A mess, and she's a, a breed you've never heard of. Before. What is that? She's a bolo bee. A bolo bee, and she's a dog, not like a combination of like a humming bee and a bowler no. hat, or no? Nope. Half Bolognese and half Beaver Terrier. Wait a second, Bolognese meatball? Yeah. Yes, but it's a ch- she's a, uh, an Italian Bichon. Oh my gosh, sounds gorgeous. And then the Beaver Terrier is about a three to five pound terrier. Okay, wait a second now. We're talking two dogs? They're two dogs oh. that together. And- uh, oh, and they did the wild thing. Okay, I get it. I get it. She's a designer mutt. Oh, oh, oh <laughs> Sam, so do you have a picture of her she in your does, wallet? Yes. Okay. All right, we're going to bring that out. Do you have it as accessible? Oh, you don't have to get it now unless you don't unless you want to, no, but no, it's entirely. But look at this gorgeous. We have so many beautiful I've seen men her, and women I've seen here. Her. She's adorable. Okay, we're gonna bring out uh, the Bolognese meatball uh, designer doggy. <laughs> but in the meantime, we have this beauty over here, Heidi. Heidi, what is it that brings you joy? That's just like easy and cheap to think about. You don't have to do much if you're feeling. I'm puppy. one of those people too. A dog and a puppy. I will stop anyone with a little dog. They run away from me oh. now. And I Oh, I'm scary. <laughs> <laughs> You're my kind of scary. You know what? When I was living in LA for a year, uh, my writer friend said to me, "That Franny's your last dog," because I had petted about 7,425 million little dogs in one day. So I'm with you, sister. Uh, I know. It's like my. I think I have petting hands. Oh no, people like walking <laughs> to the other side of the street. <laughs> oh, she people <laughs> will run away from Heidi because she wants to pet them. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Oh my goodness, now this is Lulu. Lulu Merle. Look at Lulu Merle. This is Paquita and Mike's doggy. Oh my goodness, how adorable. Can you see it? Hello, all below. Oh, Goddess of Queen Barbara Vidax, Road Dancer, Love Warrior John Williams, Danny B. Kiley. Uh, I was your experience, John. <laughs> Whatever. Oh my gosh, there are a ton of people in there. Okay. This, do you want to pet? This, Heidi wants to pet oh, the camera. I'm the godmother. <laughs> She's her godmother. I knew it. She's her godmother. Oh, you're official. 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 Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you, Paquita. Oh, my goodness. I think I'm moving in with you and Paquita. I'll be your next door neighbor, Heidi. And over here, we have Sarah's handsome husband, this beautiful couple. This is da 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 Pat. <laughs> I just, I don't know why, I felt like the dun dun da was so daunting that I had to go, Pat. <laughs> so can you share one thing with us, sir, that is an easy thing for you to think about if you're just feeling like, you know, stomach feels crappy or whatever? My five-year-old Jack. Jack Russell. Jack's a boy. He's a boy. Oh, <laughs> can you transform him? No, I'm kidding. Oh, my goodness, your five-year-old son? Oh, you didn't say I your son? <laughs> Oh my goodness! They're fi- Do you have a picture of your oh, son and your? Okay, I, if she said no, I would be just be. I know, I know. She was gonna say, look at this beautiful woman. That I am tormenting Sarah. So, ah, uh, Jack, they're five year old. Here, they're both now looking really quickly in their wallets for the who can come up with the first photograph of their in their phone, of course, because it's not the 18th century anymore, Franny. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> the wallets. <laughs> Okay, let, can we, are you oh, comfortable? Oh my goodness. Oh my, what a beautiful little boy. <gasps> oh my goodness. Okay, so this is Sarah and Pat's beautiful five-year-old son. Oh, Jack. Jack, you are much cuter than a Jack Russell, and they're pretty damn cute. <laughs> Thank you. you. Recognize this handsome boy? Oh my goodness, does ever look like both of you? Oh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, okay. One more. Oh, wait, one more. They're so they're very show offy, and who can blame them? Oh, look, this is in graduating. Sorry, Leslie, it's not a see this. Oh, oh, this is what we are ogling. Look, Mike is singing graduation song. How adorable. Alan Schwartz, Love Warrior. Okay. Oh, thank you, Pat. How beautiful. Okay, so we're all on the same uh, page, same cell phone, same schmengi poop, and I believe is the scientific term, uh, in terms of the connection between 
you know, emotion and cockapoo-poo and not being stuck in the cockapoo-poo. So the next level is to be silly and get in touch with our inner child and not take ourselves so freaking seriously. The biggest complaint palliative care workers have about those they helped to transition, die, bite it, leave the planet, eat the big chihuahua, you know, schnitzel burn, is they have a regret that they care too much what other people thought of them. End of story. So this is so, with kindness and love, no intent to hurt anybody. This is about our inner child. And most of us, you know, kids, as you know, those are your parents to furries, to human kids, know that that freedom, that love, that playfulness is what's so attractive to us. If your dog or your child was really like grouchy all the time, you wouldn't, you'd be kind of like, yeah, see, stay in the yard. Maybe not to Jack, but you know what I mean, <laughs> right? So I'm going to have... Please hydrate. Very important in here to hydrate, especially. Get yourselves hydrated. Hydrate! <laughs> Did you bring? Would you like to get it or are you comfortable? Yeah, I just think it's really, real, especially in here. Mike, did you bring water, darling? Do you want to go get it or are you good? Can I? Oh, Pequita's getting it? Oh, good. It's so important, you know. And this is... Um, this is 80, per, 80 proof vodka, so I hope you all brought the same. Absolutely. Ooh. I like the 100 proof. Mm. It's My rocket. kind of guy. Rocket. Yeah. Hence your rocket fuel. <laughs> so what we're going to do now is we are going to affirm. Now, I think the worst thing that we can do is, you know, when people say affirmations, I feel really happy. And meanwhile, you're just like, oh, my bill came in or I, my toe is killing me or oh, I hate my sister, whatever. You know what I mean? The, the falsity, the pretense of repeating affirmations when you're actually feeling like crap is detrimental. It really hurts us, right? And so this is not some kind of la la new agey thing where like, I feel fine. And meanwhile, you're like, I want to strangle Franny. She's the weirdest freaking person. I, you know, none of that. So <laughs> what I'd like you to do is um, take a mirror. You must return the mirror. They cost me a fortune at the dollar store. Okay, take Thank a you. mirror. Take a mirror. A Look into your soul. <laughs> Look deeply into your soul. And if you could kindly just, uh, my father was an ophthalmologist, an eye surgeon, and he used to repeatedly, uh, you know, it's an old, it's not saying old adage, you know, uh, the eyes are the doorway to the soul. Look into your beautiful, blessed eyes. Don't fix, you, you know, the chicken in between your teeth right now. <laughs> Let's save that for a snack for later, as they say. Look into your eyeballs and see if you can see your, whatever you want to call it, inner being, soul, God, God Essa, love intelligence, you know, the big matzo ball twirler in the sky and see if you can just breathe in there. Now, this was first invented by someone named Louise Hay and say to yourself, if you can, either whisper it or say it, you know, don't say it out loud or say, I love you and just see what happens. See what happens. And if you feel a little emotional, that's okay. I'm going to change the music to some affirmation music. I love you to yourselves. All right. Welcome to another experiment. Okay. So if you can just feel yourself, this is actually, it, it, it may seem super goofy, but it works. If you, every half hour, every hour, just take a look in the mirror at home or look in your cell phone, flip it around, pull it to the side of the road and look in and see if you can sense that you are not just your body, that there is an energy, a love intelligence, whatever you want to call it, that we are more of and that we are loved. And this is my belief. I believe it to the core of my being. We are so, 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 so loved. I used to think I was just my emotions, and that is why I was stuck. 
everybody, we all have our, we all have our journeys. We all have our journeys into the joy, the light, the love. We're not here to suffer. Suffering is optional. If you do this every half hour, every hour and look into your beautiful, blessed eyes and feel that you are loved. There is so much with us. I believe that we are eternal, eternal, eternal. And, you know, when people ask me how old I am, I say, which incarnation? Because I am freaking old and I'm proud of it. <laughs> you know, I wouldn't go back for anything. So I see you checking your uh, your whole uh, je ne sais quoi, Monsieur Fat. <laughs> okay. But if you just get a feeling that there is something more to you, you know, that we're not just our ego, our negative ego, our positive ego. We are great. And um, and if you can if you can hang on to that and know that you are not alone, it is a very big deal. And that the best part of you is love. The best part of you, if you look into your eyeballs one more time and say, the best part of me is love. The best part of me is joy. And if it's comfortable for you, the best part of me is God, or the best part of me is God Essa, or the best part of me is, you know, chocolate lasagna. It doesn't matter. It's about the love and the joy that we are because we get stuck in caring so much what other people think of us. So much in our world. And this is a great hack to do every half hour. And it frees you and empowers you. And it's a beautiful thing. So this affirmation, the best part of me is love. However you want to interpret that or rewrite it is a beautiful thing. And we're now going to transform that into Bob Baker's uh, beautiful music. By the way, the music we we were listening to was created by Dr. Sandra Rose Michael's son in after they returned from India, where they donated 24 units to an ashram. One of the most uh, now uh, Leslie's excellent at saying the name of the city. Do you remember? Is it Telepati? Tirupati. Oh, I like it. And she does the accent too. Tirupati in India, where it, this beautiful uh, ashram where 500 people can sit and thousands come 100% you know, free for everybody and was donated. Um, and so when they came back, Michael Scaler, who is Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, the creator of the EE Systems, son, wrote the music we were just listening to. Now, this is Bob Baker, and we're going to do some affirmations and some dancing. Okay, so just stay on this side of the ladder. <laughs> Nobody will get hurt. All right, here we go. Do you want us to pass? I want to, the... Uh, Make this louder. Oh, there we are. I am capable. I am powerful. I am powerful. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am strong. And come from your authentic self. Don't force it. And if it, if it doesn't resonate, don't say it. If you feel like, oh, this is really cheesy, then don't say it. But if you can come from love, which we all are, if you can kindly move that, darling, we're going to get up and dance. I just don't want anyone to trip. <laughs> Yay, there are a lot of people online. All right, everybody get up and let's move a little bit. Shake off the cobwebs, people. All right. And we're going to do, yeah, just if you can move them that way just so nobody trips. All right. All right. All right. I am capable. We're doing a. I am yeah. I am, I am wonderful. I am strong. I am strong. I am capable. Yeah. I am powerful, baby. I am wonderful. <laughs> I am strong. Breathe in. Yeah, let yourself feel good. Nobody gets a flying flip flop. Except for you. Have a good time. <laughs> yeah. Two. They are capable. The fall. I am capable. Wonderful. I am strong. I am capable. I am powerful. 
I am wonderful, I am strong, capable, I am I am wonderful, I am strong. Yeah, people! <laughs> These are joy animals, let me tell ya. <laughs> Go Leslie! <laughs> Now, if you put your arms up, just stay in the middle of the room. <laughs> we cannot knock the monitors. I am capable. I am powerful. You are powerful. I am wonderful. I am wonderful. I am strong. I am strong. <laughs> yeah, go Bob Baker. <laughs> They are powerful. I am wonderful. Oh, 
opens up the lungs. Paquita. Okay, everybody, we're going to pick up our batons. Batons. And we're going to do up and a down. down. And we're going to pick up. Ooh, it's a fancy one. Oh, All right, one, two, two, ready, go. go. One, two, ready. Oh, she's fancy. One. I see why you married her. Here's the stay in the center. Two, three, four, five, Careful, stay in the center, please. Just don't hit the monitor. Monitor, stay, stay. Wait, wait, wait. Too, too close. Center, center. It's we can't hit the monitors. All right, sit down. You're too wild. But before, yay! These are the wildest bunch ever. And we had a whole bunch of other people who already paid and didn't come, and I'm so glad they didn't because this is perfect. Paquita, can you let us know how you feel now? <laughs> she said she feels funny. What does that mean? Speak in the boob. You know, your little fuzzy boob here just really does strange things. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm warm, I'm comfortable, I'm about ready to relax. Okay, she's like, get out of my face, I want to relax. But you see, now, little do they know, their system is completely open to goodness. Because you're not blocked anymore by, is this thing working? What about, you know, playing with my son or cleaning the car? Sarah, honey, how do you feel? I feel joyous. Joyous? Speaking of the moon, joyous and light. She said, because I have a gun pointed right at her head. No. <laughs> oh, this is so good. No, but it's, you come and check us out. Sundays, we fill up really fast. 561-531-7178. And this, of course, is Madam Leslie. Leslie, how do you feel? Happy. <laughs> Such a stretch for you. Such a stretch. Such a stretch. And then with my, my inner child, like a little kid. Do you? Oh, good. So cool, man. Our inner child keeps us young. Look at me. I'm actually 65 million, 432, and a pie, a blueberry pie with creme fraiche and carnation soles. Mike. You look fabulous. My, thank you. I was sitting fishing, but, you know. Mike. I feel like it's Christmas, and I can't wait to open my pie. Oh, you're so adorable. You are so And this is your present over here, Paquita. That's your present. Oh, how cute are you? All right, madame, I don't want to get your beautiful toes, and they are lovely pedicure. Okay. Um, I feel awake a lot and stimulated. Stimulated. Heidi is stimulated, but, you know, I don't know if she's available, so that's all, that's the late show. <laughs> and Pat. And what is that number? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Pat, who is definitely not available, is with Sarah and their beautiful son, Jack. How do you feel, sir? I feel alive and Alive, awake, and happy, and he came because his wife forced him to. No, but look, it is not fabulous. We have men and women, and, you know, it's really just about love here. It's about joy and that we are all one love. We are all here not to suffer, especially if this ladder doesn't fall on me. Wait a minute. Okay, now I'm going to move this over here, and... What we're going to do is turn this off, and we're going to do about two or three minutes of deep breathing, and then you're going to sleep. You're going to have a nap like you never had, my friends. All right. Thank you. Thank you, Bob Baker. Thank you, Bob Baker. Thank you, my beloved love audience. We're going to do some deep breathing now, some aloha breathing in honor of Dr. Sandra Rose Michael. Who created this beautiful system? We love you. We love you, Sandra, if you're watching. Let's everybody close your eyes, get into your beautiful bellies, take a big breath, and on the exhale, aloha. Aloha. One more, take a big breath. Aloha. Aloha. That was a very lengthy low, Mike. I loved it. <laughs> That was one of the best lows before the ha that I've ever ha-ha'd. Now, Dr. Sandra is a certified kahuna, literally. She is a certified for many years, decades, a Hawaiian healer. And that's a whole other story. So let's take one more deep breath and calm down our beautiful bodies. One more deep into your belly. Inhale and aloha. And I love you all so much. I'm going to get you blankets, and you can sit in other chairs. 
and behave yourselves, boys and girls. No reading under the sheets. <laughs> I love you. I will catch up with you on the post. Thank you for tuning in, beloved love warriors and goddesses and queens. Have a blessed day. Love to everyone from our room. Love to everyone. Love to everyone. Thank you so much. See you next Sunday, and I will catch up with you in the chat. Love, love. Goodbye. I'm going now. I don't care. I'm going. Thank you for the hearts.